My grammar is not very well. Is that the right way to say it? Well, people say you should never say, I'm good. I think it sounds sexier it than sounds saying good. It sounds smart. I don't care if it's wrong or right, it sounds smart. I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well, exactly. Mm. You never say I'm doing good. People don't know that, but. Well, good is like cookies. Exactly. You wanna try my cookies? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what are we talking about? I don't know, grammar. <laughs> These ladies know fashion, but do they know language? Hi everyone, it's me, Miss Kimora Black. With? Derek Berry, bitch. It's time to put these queens to the test. Are you ready to conjugate into the future perfect? Wait, what? Wait. What? Wait. What? So, in elementary school, when we're writing these nasty old paragraphs with topics that are so boring, I'm sure I was writing things not the right way. Well, from that sentence, I'm sure you're correct. I had a uh, teacher in middle school, Miss Mulrooney, and then she got married to a doctor and she became Mrs. Overholzer. But she literally sounded just like this. She'd be like, okay, class, okay. I feel like she sounds like a good time. Yeah. Okay. And she, and she married a doctor. Yeah, Hello. she's smart. And she was teaching sixth grade, so I loved that. Today's lesson is grammar. Today we are learning about grammar with two M's, not one M. Two Ooh. M's. G-R-A-M-M-E-R. Oh my God, that is not, is that right? Because no, I was thinking about Grammys. Wait, there's not an E. No, that's what I mean. It should be grammar. I don't think it's G-R-A-M-M-A-R. Grammar. That is like grammar. 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 Isn't grammar like question marks and commas and that is punctuation. Oh, I thought that's grammar. Wait, what? What? Uh... It's time for a pop quiz. Already uh, pop quiz? Pop quiz. Ooh. Pop it. Pop my quiz. Pop. Cicero. Quiz. Lip shits. What's a lip? Which sentence is correct? Brian bought Chris and I drinks. Or, Brian bought Chris and me drinks. Oh, I know it. Oh, first one. Brian bought me and with the one with the eye. We win! Okay. I take it back! So I know this. You have to imagine the sentence without the other person, and if it still makes sense, then uh, you have to go with me or I. So, Brian bought Chris and I drinks. Who's if Brian? you, I don't know, but I want to meet him if he's buying people Brian drinks. Hot. Hopefully it's vodka. So Brian bought Chris and me drinks. If you take Chris and out, Brian bought me drinks. Makes sense. But Brian bought I drinks doesn't. So it has to be the one with me. Correct. I don't even need to know. Brian sounds so sexy. So what is your final answer? <laughs> I want to do the one with me. <laughs> The correct answer is Chris and me. Woo! I got it on my own. Sure. Brian, I'll take a Jack and Coke. Name a preposition. Oh God. What the hell is a preposition? Oh no. It sounds like a country. It sounds like preparation. Like before you have sex. Are you prepositioning your? A preposition is a word that shows how a noun relates to another part of the sentence. Baby, I don't even know what an adjective is. <laughs> a noun is a dog. Person, Person place, place, or thing. Oh. Yeah. Wait, dog is none of that. It's dog a, is an animal. I know, but it would fall under person. No. Or thing. Thing is like an object, like a chair. It should, it should be, like be everything, not describing stuff. Yeah. Mm, Let's invention. change it. So back to prepositions. So use it in a sentence. <laughs> the wig is on the floor. Oh, then duh. The, the floor. The is before the wig. Wig is a noun, a wig is a thing. I don't think the is a preposition though. On. So it's wig or floor. Are you sure preposition is real? Give me a final answer. The wig would be the noun. The noun. So the floor is the preposition. But the that's floor a, is a thing place. too. 
The floor is the place oh, okay. I had sex at on the floor. You did? Well, I'm just saying, like, we couldn't find the preposition. Oh. Oh, it's on. I think it's on. This is such a hard Because hard that's drive. not a person, place, or thing. <laughs> it's on. on because the on means that the the noun is the wig. The wig is on, it's on the, the floor. floor. That's how it's relating to and it. And it's related because the wig is on the floor. Oh my gosh. On. On. The preposition is on. <laughs> what do we win? Brain cells. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know what, I don't think we should call it proposition. I think we should just call. Just prep for short. Prep. Yeah, prep. She said proposition, <laughs> like a hooker or something. What is, how do you say it? Preposition. <laughs> <laughs> what is a proper noun? Oh, proper. It's a noun from uh, Britain. It's very proper. Is that really what it is? No. Oh. <laughs> A proper noun. A proper noun feels like a, a Mr. or a Mrs. That does make I'm sense. I'm gonna say Mr. Mrs. Mr. Mrs. A proper noun is a specific person, place, or thing and is always capitalized. I don't think that makes sense. I was told you always capitalize the first letter of the sentence. Well, yeah. Yeah. Simple world. What is the proper noun in this sentence? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Wednesdays. Gotta be. It's no, because you don't capitalize Wednesday. You do Wednesday's capitalize. It's a day of the week. I'm not even like Vivian? crazy, but you're supposed to capitalize days. Every day of the week. You're supposed to capitalize Sunday. the F and Friday in any sentence. Any sentence. I have never heard of that. Oh, no. Most people wouldn't in a text, like, see you Friday, but, but the you're supposed proper. to. Proper. Is that your final answer? Oh, yeah. Yes, final answer is Wednesday. You are correct. Got it on my own. Sure. <laughs> Weekdays and months are capitalized. Yeah. What? Really? I did not know that. Months? I mean, I don't write. I don't think you read either. <laughs> I don't read. I never even finished a book in my entire life, and I wish I did because the, the people that do it look so much fun. But I just can't. It looks and I so know, much fun. No, the like, grammar there was great. Yeah, but like. I just, like, when I read, I think about what to wear. Barry Kirk steps from his living room to the tiny garden. I want to wear a bra. So you get distracted. What is an adjective? <gasps> I'll let you do this one, because you're so good at it. What's an adjective? Why do adjectives haunt me everywhere I go? <sighs> it's something that describes something. It's a word that modifies a noun. Find the adjective in this sentence. Kimura handled the delicate crown very carefully. Delicate. I agree, delicate. Delicate! Woo! That is correct. Delicate. Oh my god, I won RuPaul's Drag Race. What's the difference between who's and who's? Oh. What the who? Who's and who's. Oh, I don't even say that word. Whose brush is that? You've never said that? Oh, I did say that, yeah. but I probably don't even know what it means. Ouch. I say because I was probably told to say it that way. Okay, so whose wig is that? Why is there an S-E though? Because the other whose is who is. Okay, so you get it now, right? Whose? Spell who in the following sentence. Who's coming to the mall with me? Ooh. That is W-H-O-S-E. No, d there's another way to spell it. Yeah. I don't even know that. I really don't know. I really don't know. I've never said that before. You have though. You just haven't spelled it right probably. So whose would be W-H-O apostrophe S? Oh, I've never done that. I don't even ever even use apostrophes because I thought it was a wrong way to write a comma. Huh? Oh my god, you thought it was a comma that was misplaced. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> Let's try it again, Kimura. Who's coming to the mall with me? Apostrophe S. Apostrophe S. Correct. Yeah. Ah, I got it on my own! Who is coming to the mall with me? Who are coming to the mall with me? No, don't ever say who are. <laughs> what is the difference between there, there, and there? Oh, I know all these. I really don't know these. So the first one is they are. 
okay? They are is there. T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. They're over there. Oh, they're over there, because I can say they're they over there, are. or they are over there. Yeah, you're just abbreviating it with the Abbrevi punctuation. What is that? Uh, you're just... Um, Make it shorter. Making it shorter, yeah, thank you. Oh. Now, the other, this is the one that people get wrong all the time. So there's there, which is over there, right? T-H-E-R-E. -E. That's there. There. T-H-E-I-R is showing possession. So their belongings, their dress, their shoes. Oh, like that's their, that's exactly their shoe. Yep. How would you spell the correct there in this sentence? Okay, you do this. I can, you can do it now, okay. I taught you. Kimura's fans pulled out all of their dollar bills. T-H-E-I-R. Woo! Correct. Ah! Yay! Because you know how I did it? Because T-H-E-I-R has the word and the letter I in it, that means it's mine. Wow, that's good to remember it like that. That's super smart. Oh my god, this is what oh it feels god. like to be smart. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, comma, what, question mark?